Yo, don't forget to download the White Bone app. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ryan Olson with White Bone Creations, and today I'm gonna teach you how to clean a coyote skull. First things first, I'm gonna get my area in order. I'm gonna set up my burner, set my pot on top, fill it full of clear water, add some laundry detergent, and then start a fire underneath. I wanna bring this to a boil. Next, I'm gonna pull out my coyote heads. I'm gonna skin them and remove all the meat and tissue that I can, but I'm gonna leave the bottom jaws intact. This is something I do for all small game or small predators, always. Leave it intact for the initial boil. With everything skinned and down in the boil, you wanna clean up your area. Once your skulls start to split on the top of the head, they've boiled long enough. For me, this is about 12 minutes on these coyotes. I'm gonna pull them out, set them on the ground, and then power wash into every hole and every orifice on this skull. Anywhere there's meat or tissue, I'm gonna make it go away. Let's get to washing. Now the reason I leave the top of the head and the bottom jaw attached is so I can face it straight up at me and spray right down through those teeth. If I have them separated and I spray the teeth, I traditionally have had a tendency to squirt like a tooth out and never find it again. So if I leave them together, they've got no place to go. I just wash through the tooth. Then I just spray around, spray around, spray around, and eventually I get to where I've got everything pretty clean with the head and the jaw attached. Then I separate and fine tune. Now I just don't spray over the teeth once I've got them clean here, because I'm telling you, then things are so small and you will lose them for sure. So just be very delicate when you're spraying there. Once you've got everything sprayed free and clean of its meat, this is what a initial boil wash looks like here. This is how much debris is left on it. Then I take, fill that same pot full of water. I add it in maybe a half gallon of Aquasilk. This is a product I get at the pool supply. It has a 27% by volume peroxide content, which is whitening. And then that mixed together is doing some degreasing. I bring that to a boil. I let it simmer a few minutes to do its thing. Then I pull them out and final rinse everything real good. Super quick side note to keep your jaws from oiling up. There's a hole right here in the side of the jaw. See this little cord that's in there and it shoots out right alongside the canine where the canine goes in. The short of it is spray into the top and the side until that thing is completely blowing out clear water and you're gonna wash out these two little tendons that are in there or whatever it is, junk. Just make sure it's clean as you're shooting water in one side, it needs to be coming out the other. You'll have grease-free jaws. Once it's clean of all the meat and all the tissue, I set it in front of a fan to dry. Like always, this is how we wrap up the film. Once they're dry in my environment, about 24 hours, I brush on a coat of flooring mop and glow and set them back in front of that fan for say 10 minutes and then I've got a finished skull. Yo, I never seem to put the camera in the right position. <laughs> Practically laying down right now. Coyote skulls, super cool, super beautiful, easy, fast. Everybody's got them. They're around, get your hands on them. They're a super neat little skull. If you do them fast enough, you're not losing any teeth. And because canines will absolutely split in time, especially if you're in a really dry climate, I take a really thin super glue and put one drop on top of the canine and it slides over the tooth. That uh, I do with bears, that we do with coyotes, anything with canines and it will keep them from splitting um, and gives that tooth kind of a neat little glossy look. But coyote skulls, thank you for watching. Be kind to one another and uh, I'll see you soon.